Okay, this is the peak meter PM8233D DMM, which is digital multimeter. It's auto ranging. Um, I've got an older style category two that will measure up to 300 volts. This one is a category three, will measure up to 600 volts. So I'm just going to show a couple of the features. The uh, batteries can be installed by unscrewing this. And you can see it, unscrewing this part. And there's a nine volt battery back here. And then this has a flap that flips up and can stand so you can read the meter upright or you can lay it flat like that. So because it's uh, auto ranging, it doesn't have as, as uh, many settings as my other meter, which is good, simplifies things. So here you've got uh, the straight line as a direct current voltage. You've got alternating current voltage. You've got ohms. Here you've got a diode tester and a continuity tester. This measures frequency and hertz. This is a microamp direct and alternating current. Milliamp direct and alternating current. And amps in direct and alternating current. These two uh, probes have these two pieces on the end to protect it. You'll have to be careful not to lose those. Most of the time you'll probably leave it in the meter, but there's really no place to put these. Maybe if you taped it to the meter or something. And then as well as these caps that protect the test leads. Uh, one thing that's nice on the back is that it comes with these cutouts. And I wasn't able to push it in this way. But if you slide it through the end, you can get them to lock into place to keep them out of the way, which is a great handy feature. So this will measure on this side 250 milliamps up to and 200 volt max. If you need anything over on the current side, more than 250 milliamps, you'll have to go to this 10 amp. So to measure up to 10 amps, make sure you switch that if you're measuring something that's going to have a higher current or else you might blow the fuse on the meter. There is a fuse inside that can be replaced. You have to take all this orange housing off and it's down in this electronic area underneath inside. So we'll turn on the meter and start with a few little tests. Here I've got a lithium battery, 12 volts, and just a, a wiring harness. I'm going to plug it in. So the meter's trying to find its range since it doesn't have any volts applied to it. And this is just simply a uh, a uh, changes the uh, voltage. It's a voltage regulator via this little screw knob, and I can lower it and raise it. It goes down to 1.2 volts on this one. So let's measure. Put it up to about two volts. Let's try 1.94. I'm going to take the test leads. Put them aside. Clip the uh, red to one side. The black to the other. Touch it. And we've got right around, let's see here, two volts. So this is probably much more accurate than this. So it measures a little bit higher, but we've got about two volts. 
and speaking of with that connected, I'll try to up the voltage with this voltage regulator. If I can reach that far. So that's 2.16. This one says 2.11. Let's go up to 2.7. 2.76. See, it goes up accordingly. So well, that's pretty accurate. And the more I turn it, the more it'll go up to that 12 volts. So you get the idea with that. Same thing with. Uh, alternating current is you would put it in a electrical socket or something that's alternate run by alternating current for this next voltage reading. The ohms, we'll switch to the ohms. I'll unhook this power supply right now. And right here I've got a 2.2K resistor. So we should get 2.2K ohms. So we got 2.17, pretty close. And there's a 5% uh, tolerance in these resistors. So um, that's well within the tolerance. Then we've got a diode tester, and then there's right next to it is a continuity tester. To get to that second function, you have to hit function. Right now it's diode. Now this is the continuity tester. So I um, guess on a resistor it's not going to work. But Let's say this was a circuit, the screwdriver. Test that. It um, takes a little bit of holding too before it actually registers. There were some times where I, see I have a touch and it's kind of intermittent. It's touching right now. But when it moves around, it registers. So we've got Hertz, which will measure like the alternating current Hertz. We've got microamps, milliamps, and regular amps that can be switched from DC and AC. So we're going to go to milliamps right now. It'll measure the uh, max range for voltage and current. You can hold the, the number that you get for the reading. And then also this is a backlight. The backlight doesn't stay on, which I don't know why, but if you hold it for a couple seconds, it'll come on. It's really easy to see. I love it. I just wish it stayed on. It stays on for about 15 seconds. You'll see it shut off here in a second. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to put this resistor aside. I'm going to hook up this LED light, which is a diode. And the longer lead goes to positive, the anode, the negative cathode goes to the black. So there we got our LED running. And let's see here. You'll see the LED go dimmer as I vary the voltage. It's a three volt LED. So it'll go up to three volts. Anything higher, you risk blowing it. So you can see it get brighter and brighter and brighter. So 
So what I have right here, it's DC milliamps. If I wanted to go alternating current, I would hit the function button again. So let me get this up to three volts. There we go. Okay, right there, perfect. So we got current coming out of here, into here and around. But this doesn't measure current the way we have it set up. So what we have to do with these test leads is break the circuit here, hook one end, it really doesn't matter which side because we're just continuing this loop. So we got the black hooked up and you'll see the current register when I touch the LED. So this LED gets about 105.3 milliamps is how much it runs on at three volts. So that's pretty cool. So it seems to be a great meter. Um, I would change, I wish the LED would stay lit. But uh, I love the kickstand, I love the, uh, I've blown my old one too many times, the fuse on it, because it doesn't take the, the uh, amount of amperage that this one does. But it seems well built, and uh, it's got all the features for any average show that would need to measure uh, something around the house. I do a lot of hobby work, so it works great for me. Um, especially the continuity, I like to know the current and the voltage is uh, extremely important. So anyways, I hope this helps. This is the peak meter, PM8233D, digital multimeter, auto ranging. And thank you very much for watching.